Hey guys, uh, just wanted to do a quick review and uh, show you what I got today. Um, I actually picked up the Bumblebee Battle Suit, so Transformers Prime Cyberverse Bumblebee Battle Suit. So I don't think there's any videos of anyone doing a review of this on um, YouTube. So I uh, just picked up today. I was lucky enough to find it at my Walmart. <clears throat> so I um, wanted to show you guys the box, and then I'm going to pause this. I'm going to open it up. And show you guys him transformed and everything. It's super easy. So you can see the try me. Um, you can't really see that, but it does light up a little bit. Uh, it's green, so it's too much light in here. So I'm going to, like I said, uh, open it up, transform it, show you guys what it's all about. So I will be back in a minute. I do have Nightwatch Optimus Prime with me, and because uh, I'm going to use him, because this set can actually hold up to three figures but as I said I am moving so a lot of my stuff is packed up so my Magnus is is actually packed up so you can see them all let me show you there okay so you can kind of see them all there on the back so just Bumblebee goes in the front and the two in the back so that's it I'll be right back guys all right guys I'm back finally got this baby opened up and I just messed around with it for a couple minutes so as you can see I have him in his battle station mode first you got Bumblebee right here controlling everything, and you got Nightwatch Prime in the back. Of course, it has ports all over it for weapons. I have Bumblebee's weapons here. You can put Prime swords here, here, here. I mean, there's spots everywhere on this thing. There's even some spots up here on the top, so kind of cool. Um, the lights, you know, you do hit this, and that does light up the cannon. I know you guys can't really see because of the light I have in here. Um, you push the button, and then... It shoots the rocket, so no big deal there. Nothing unexpected. Um, I'll just kind of do, I'll even lift it up so you guys can kind of see. It's a jumble of suit, I guess you can say. You can barely see Bumblebee in there. Um, kind of neat, though. Kind of dig it, and it's all right. Um, so what we'll do is I'm going to take the gun off first. Just unplugs. It's a little port right here. And drop Bumblebee. Um, I'm going to swing this down. Now, the cool thing about the gun, so this is Bumblebee's gun, so I'm going to take this off. cool thing about the gun is this unplugs. So then you can just leave this off to the side. You can do whatever you want with it. And then this can plug in multiple areas um, and light up, you know, anything you want. So you can plug that in. So, but I like leaving this in here. So actually, you know what, I'm going to leave it up for now. So Bumblebee standard Bumblebee. Um, he's a little brighter yellow than the original Cyberverse. So I'm going to leave him off to the side. I'm going to pull Prime out as we are done with him because Bumblebee is going to go into his mech suit mode. So all you do for that <clears throat> is take this baby and pull the legs down just like this. Close them together. Close them together. And I'm going to just pan up just a little then these two pieces here you push them in and it closes the whole front like so so now it's closed all the way the arms just spin around and then now you have your hands or you can leave them off for big cannons whatever you want to do and in the back here oops, in the back here there's like a, um, a shelf where they could stand in the back if you wanted um, Prime or Magnus, and but you should fold that down and then push these in all the way. So you can see this comes up for more cannons, goes in. That's that. Now, the gun reattaches. Let me get this in frame better. Just reattach this. It slides right in and plugs right into the hand like so. so now he has a big cannon there, and I like to just plug Bumblebee's gun on the side. Now, it's okay, the setup, so Bumblebee, just kind of stick him in here. Um, he doesn't really have anything to hold on to. I cannot figure a way to get him locked in there, so he'll fly out, you know what I mean, if you're going to be moving around a lot, I mean, but for the most part, it's okay. I mean, like, you're doing too much with this, so that's it. I mean, it's really simple. There's nothing to it. Guns, you know, light up, same thing. But I will kind of just do a quick spin around for you guys. Um, these just fold in tight, but my wire was in the way. So, I mean, it's cool. It's a cool figure. It only costs 20 bucks. 
Um, it was like twenty ninety nine at Walmart, so not bad, but I at least wanted to show you guys what it is. Um, you know, kind of a cool figure just as a comparison. Um, we'll stick Nightwatch with his swords. One second. So we got Nightwatch's swords. I'm going to throw those back in. These areas here. So just to kind of give you a uh, a quick size comparison. Um, my watch looks a little weird. There we go. So there he is. So kind of cool. I mean, it's an okay figure. I mean, for twenty bucks, why not? The instructions are not horrible. You know what I mean? Like it gives you a pretty detailed instruction sheet. You guys can pause this if you want. Shows you where to put the guns. Um, the gun also, I will show you when it's in this mode, the mech tech mode, mech suit mode. You pull this out, you can spin this around, and this actually will just peg right on the back here. Um, and it lights up the whole top. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but, you know, it's okay, I, I guess. And then you can just kind of, you know, you could peg this back in here. You can really do whatever you want with it so kind of cool I mean it gives you some options but it's nothing that amazing um, but again it's a cool figure for 20 bucks why not I love Bumblebee and I love these these Cyberverse figures uh, the prime figures so um, you know I just wanted to let you guys know what it what it was all about so uh, I thank all you guys for watching and um, you know I've been doing some more videos I got some other cool stuff coming I got a nice surprise coming this week so actually next week so uh, thanks to all my subs please like favorite comment I appreciate it, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.